So Ian, the lads are back in for training. Uh, it must be good to get them all back in and start working on the 2019 season. Yeah, it's great. It seems a long time since the season's finished now, so it, it's good to get everybody back in and just start to build them relationships again. Uh, on the first day, um, Greg Brown, the head of strength and conditioning, he kind of took the, the testing, so you was kind of took a back seat for that day. What, what was that day all about, and what do you what do you get from that day? Yeah, the first day we we had a meeting where we kind of led that, where we spoke about kind of our values and standards as a team. First day in for us is quite a simple day, just getting everybody back used to being involved in and around the club, seeing new players, and then obviously um, the conditioning wise is seeing where they're at physically, so then we know where to go when we're planning for, um, sessions going forward. And how kind of long do you work on the conditioning side before starting to implement the ball games, or is that already in play now? Yeah, oh, we're, we're different we're, this year. We've we'll minimise kind of our work really where it's just pure conditioning. We bring the ball in a lot earlier, like we did last year as well, to get the kind of the decision making and execution um, at the right time, and making sure that people are making decisions already in training situations, like the willing game situations. So it's important we put the ball in there as well, rather than just having the old kind of style uh, pre-season training where you're just running laps and doing 400 metres, 800 metres, things like that. Yeah, them days are kind of long gone. Um, getting the ball in hand is the big one for us as well. That's what we do, we play with the ball, so it's important we have the ball in hand. And obviously we've welcomed a few new lads, so we'll just go through those individually. Adam Lawton, how's he been in the first few days? Yeah, Adam's been good, he's finding it tough. Um, he's obviously been out of the game for a little bit, so coming into a Super League environment's been tough for him. He's probably had his first real day today where we've been on field, um, in the gym and then we've done little bits on the mats as well this afternoon so he's found it, he found it good but found it tough uh, Gil Dudson how's he, how's he gone in the first few days? He's settled in really well Gil's uh, made massive strides coming in really good condition as well we we know what Gil's about Gil's a player who can um, create offloads bust tackles and get quick play the balls for you as well and he's certainly coming in the right condition to kind of set himself up for a good season Of course uh, Joey Jansen and Jackson have all stayed with us this year and then Ed and Greg as well they're all going through their first pre-season with Salford. Uh, do you think they'll kick on this year and, and continue to improve? Yeah, the, the good pros, the, the players who've been in around the game for a couple of years now as well, so they know what to expect from a pre-season. Pre-season's never nice, people don't want to do it, but the intensity the guys have turned up with and kind of the... the the, the kind of fun factor that's ar around the group um, is really good at the moment. People are enjoying being here as well and enjoying what, what they're doing as well. Like I say, no one really enjoys a really tough kind of pre-season, but it's one of them things that they're expected to do and they know they're expected to do to make sure that they're in for a good season on that one on the field. Uh, just touching a few of the absences now and Tyrone haven't trained yet, is that just because they're into international duty? Yeah, yeah, international duty means that obviously they need a little bit more time off to rest and recuperate. Um, Niall played the one game in Papua New Guinea, so he did a fair bit of travelling over there as well. Tykes played three games for Ireland, so they're all at different stages, but Niall will be back in with us next week, and Tyke will come back in next week, but he'll be more on um, probably a, a lifting programme more than he will be on the field. And um, the other new signing, Ken Seal, he's not with us yet. Have we any news on Ken and when will we expect him to yeah, leave the squad? His, sorry, mate. He's had his um, visa appointment on Friday, um, so he'll get that and then it's normally like five to seven days and hopefully in the next couple of weeks he'll be over here and he'll be ripping in training with the rest of the lads. But we've already been in touch with Ken and he's already been set a programme to do while he's over there, so he's not missing out. And it seems over the first two days of training there's a really good atmosphere around the camp. Uh, you must be delighted with that already. Yeah, that's... The good thing about getting back in now, it's like a new group, again it's a fresh start, it's kind of like first day back at school in many ways for people, new guys coming in nervous, not knowing what to expect and not knowing other people. The beauty about obviously rugby is you build relationships up really quickly and that's one thing that we're really keen to build on here this year, we have a massive team first mentality and about working hard for each other but on that you've got to build relationships and you've got to get on with people as well so we're working really hard on that side of things as well. Uh, I know it's really early days yet, but the 2019 season, um, we don't want to talk about goals and where we want to be, but do you, do you think we can be a competitive side this year and be higher up in the league and comp compete for the playoff places possibly? Yeah, if you, if you look at our squad this year, we've we've invested in quality. Um, we're, we're a small squad again, but every kind of penny's gone into quality of um, player. So it's important that we had that so we have the genuine competition around our team and we've got a lot of utility value in there as well with players being able to play in numerous positions. So not just being an out and out winger, people can play full back centre winger as well, which adds that little bit more pressure to other people to compete for their spot. 
and finally you've spoken about the Together Just Though. We've been running with the Together Stronger campaign with the fans and trying to create the positivity around the place. Um, how important is that the fans continue to support us with the squad builder and season tickets and all the other stuff that comes alongside that? Oh, they're massive for us now. With being a community club, it's important that everybody gets on board. Everybody's got to dig in and roll the sleeves up and work hard for, for the club now. And it's it's in a great position, really, the club for... The, what the supporters have always wanted is kind of an ownership and, and being involved in the club. Now they truly are. Um, they can kind of dictate which way we go as well. The support on an, on the terraces is brilliant for us, but the support also financially is a massive list for us now and being able to get the right kind of personnel and right players in to kind of promote the club and kickstart us having a great season in 2019.